two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Think about what I've said. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. with me here.
better. But still needs a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. I can definitely. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Looks like the serpentine belt could use some help. It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? I don't think the screwdriver would do the belt much good. I could probably tighten the serpentine belt with the wrench. I could probably tighten the serpentine belt with the wrench. I could probably tighten the serpentine belt with the wrench. <sighs> Much better. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Maybe something's wrong with the battery post. Nope, not gonna help.
There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. This thing is going to the fuck up. But this thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. It's not like I need a manual. Gross. But also kind of inspiring. Hmm. <laughs> what do I see? Oh, I know. Screwdriver has got to be small enough to get that shit out. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. Screwdriver has got to be small enough to get that shit out. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. Nope. Not gonna help. That should help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. Go back from whence you came.
Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Please, I need you. Junkyard Queen, where are you at? Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... <laughs> Badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot. But, yeah. Badass, too. Hey. Not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? It's right here. Obviously, I was gonna give it to you. You don't have to be such a dick about it. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Why is it? that chicks think it's okay to hit me. But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly, it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? 
Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now why you give a shit about this woman. I, sh she's a friend, an old family friend. <laughs> This chick doesn't have any family, or any friends. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> No way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in, Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon. Your dad's a real piece of shit, you know? We're aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon! Calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Uh! Ah!
Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? I don't, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. Do you know who Damon Merrick is? Or why he hates you? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe, but I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? No, nothing of course. Is that how it became violent? It was, it was actually Rachel who got angry. She was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. It wasn't only that. She was already angry about Damon pushing me around. She is like her mother. Quick-tempered, rash. I've always been afraid of losing her the way I lost Sarah. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. and We all could see it. But... Then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something. But when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. 
I heard a scream, but I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> hey. Steph, how's Drew? <sighs> Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay, sure, definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Mom brought so many of these home when Dad died, and not a single one. Being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up, and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank big... Oh shit. I know those guys. Uh, this doesn't look like the maternity wing. Uh, there's a sign for the prenatal class. I can't believe we're finally doing this. I'm so excited. <laughs> You're gonna be a good dad. <laughs> I guess I'm glad we stole their wine. If I want to stay sane, I need to stay busy. What's there to do around here? Okay, nurses. The world wants to know. What's so funny? Q laugh track.
I hope Drew's doing better. I, I should visit him. Rachel's waiting for me. Shouldn't stay here too long. I wonder if Damon Merrick classifies as a biohazard. Is this Drew's room? Then. Thank you. Hi, Mr. North. That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Drew? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. You know, Drew's hurt, of course. But, uh, I'm between jobs, so got plenty of time to visit. You know? Yeah. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure Both of those boys have been acting a little... well... guilty lately. Yeah, I I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? You should probably ask Drew. I, uh, don't really know any details. I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. I know they've been trying to help me out, money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. I'm so relieved that Rachel's awake. I should see her right away. Rachel's probably waiting for me.
Hey. I'm gonna just, just the walk into Rachel's room. Try and stop me, nurses. You didn't have to bring me ice cream. Is that Samantha Myers? I feel bad. Holy shit. Is that Nathan Prescott? It wasn't your fault. Um, I'm a klutz. Oh, God. Nathan and Samantha together? What have I done? I should have seen that biker, though. <laughs> I just think it's sweet you wanted to take my photograph. Of course. I think it came out really well, too. Wait till you see it. Everything about this fire has been atypical. <laughs> hey! You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Drew. How's your knee doing? Do they think it's gonna heal? Uh, I'm not sure actually. It's too early to tell. Sorry to hear it. It's, it's all good. Hmm. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. I figured it might fit with my new barbarian look. You know, a war paint. Awesome. Nerds. Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. She just woke up. I'm going to see her soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What? happened she got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking Merrick seriously it, it wasn't because of me was it oh, no somehow we've got our own shit with him now that's crazy Fuck that guy. I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Uh, I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Don't have too much fun now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. See ya, Pops. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Rachel's waiting for me. Shouldn't stay here too long. So relieved that right. It's nice that Mikey and Steph seem to be staying here all day. Hey. Sorry for losing it there. It's nice of you to come by.
Yeah, no problem. Easier than you coming to me. <laughs> you know what? I'm kind of tired. Oh, uh, right, right. I'll, um, I'll leave you alone. Look at that. Wells, I wonder if Drew will ever play again. Damn. An eight out of ten. All right. I'm gonna head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Yeah? Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. You bet. <laughs>